being a quote unquote real n- yeah benefits when it comes to hip hop. We yes, can't ignore that. It does and doesn't. This shit all clout. It's not that, that never did half the shit I did. That's fake. That's and they're using they're using fake shit and putting the camera up but, to make it seem like and they going viral with it. Why though? Because it's a benefit from from perpetrating that lifestyle. I can't go live with it though. It don't benefit me because I'm the real. N- you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying the idea to me that makes no sense is a contradiction. We the same ones that's going to say going to jail not cool. We're going to encourage kids to go to school like that, right? As yeah, we yeah. should. Yeah. However, that's a direct contradiction of being a successful rapper as we see it now. Kind of, yeah. I just feel like it's all messed up. I noticed like being a real nigga and it, it, it got its perks, but it's like you can't do as much as these guys is doing. Is going on live, is doing this, is recording everything, like recording, recording, recording. I'm scared of the camera. I'm terrified of the camera. So it's like, bro, what you mean don't do this? I got to do this. For me to get sell records, I got to do this. It's, it's almost yeah, like talking about what fit. I went through. Yeah, it's a story. It's a book. Or not even talk about it. I got to go through something for me to be a rapper. To be a rapper, yep. You don't see how we promoting yeah. poison almost. It's like, damn. No, nah, it is poison. It is. Because the music is really what boosts you to do the dumb shit, But that's what... All they want to hear is poison. All they want to see is poison. Like, I could post something positive. That shit will probably get some likes for some some real people that follow me. But I post some bullshit that I didn't want to post. Yeah. That's going to go crazy. Fact. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill. J Hill Podcast. We are in the building. Oh, man. My next guest, I always say each and every guest is special, but this one is special because I've been trying to do this interview for a long time. Maybe like, maybe even like three years now. It's crazy. Yeah, about two, three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two, yeah, three years. Toffee is in the building. What it is, what, what up, brother? What's brother, good with you? Uh, North Miami is here. North Miami. Um, And to, to my audience or to some of the people that might not know who he is, you probably like, man, why you want to do this, man? Cause I, 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 I got turned on to this guy music even before MMG. Now nah, it's DC. I mean, I, I said Dream Chasers. Yeah, before a lot of people, Dream Chasers. Yeah, yeah. So like, I know a lot of people probably got a lot of fans from that. But yeah, I was yeah, rocking yeah. with you before Dream Chasers. Yeah, I remember you told me. Yeah, yeah you um, definitely I think was. you was rocking with um my homie Kev, right? Kev what, from all DC or no? Yeah, Cav, Cav, yeah, yeah, Cav. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, I remember because I'm, I remember no, you say I'm Kev. like, I was like yeah, yeah, Ka- I call Cav, Cav, yeah, yeah, Cav, Cav, yeah, that's Cav. my boy. Yeah, God, damn, my man. My brother right there. Yeah, well connected Cav, shout out to my guy, man. Shout well connected Cav. Yeah, so I've been trying to do this for, for years, man. This man had a motion for, for a long time. I know a lot of y'all probably was introduced through Dream, Dream Chases and Meek Mill, and that's cool. Yeah. But, yeah, man, he been having motion way before that. Right. Um, But, yeah, man, how you doing, bro? I'm chilling, man. Came out here, I'm vibing, you know. Yes, sir. It's I'm good to see you. with the A. Yeah, you got the uh, new project about to come out Friday. Yeah, I'm not them. I'm not them. What does that mean to you, man, when you say I'm not them? I like, you know, a lot of people tend to put me in a uh, category because I'm a rapper. Mm-hmm. But I don't, like, when the, when you actually get to meet me in person, you're like, damn, this thing, he's not like the other rappers. Not like one of them. Nah, I'm not. I'm not like them. I get it a lot. That's mm-hmm. all I like. I really was supposed to come out with a tape called I'm Not Them a long time ago, but it just came to me Yeah. when I was working on this one. That's how I felt. You feel me? Nah, facts. Yeah. Now, you from North Miami, bro. Um, What part of North Miami? Like, what, what the is... east side. East side of North Miami. Yeah. Tell me a little b- bit about uh, Miami. North Miami, like, NMB. Like, when you when you think of, like, Ty for your Miami, like, what does that mean to you? Um, that's I'm born and raised. Like, it's, you know, it's just, we got our own culture down there, mm. especially with the Zoes. Where I'm from is predominantly, like, Haitians. Mm-hmm. You, know I mean? you got Haitians, you got Hispanics. It was mostly Haitians. And Tell me about the culture in Miami. The culture. In North Miami. Um, foreign cars. A bunch of young niggas with bread, with grown man money. Mm. Yeah, like, for real. Like, you know, you might have, in, in normal hoods, you might have, like, I'll say about 10 guys or less that everybody in the in the hood knows got paper. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's not like that one from. Yeah, that's what kind of like um that was the most interesting thing about it to me because you know like I'm from the projects in Baltimore, my colognes, right? And like when you like man, we always getting money. I'm like shit. I probably knew one or two people, and even them, they probably wasn't like getting money like that. That's what I'm saying. It was like, the trenches. Let's say if we was to have projects, we don't really got projects like that. We got apartment buildings. We don't really got projects. Let's say if we have projects, and it was let's say it was. 
40, 50 kids, at least 15, 20 of them in that building. Where did that come from? Like, like how, from, just, from when you remember, how did, like, how did that man, happen? How, how well, was the origin of that? When I was, when, when I was in high school, before, like, like right now we in a, we in a uh, scammer era. Mm-hmm. Before, before that became popular, like, you really had to, like, if you wanted to touch some paper, you really had to be kind of aggressive. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or get a job. But every, uh, like, I'm thinking, like, everybody couldn't have been aggressive because then niggas, That's everybody what I'm saying. Would be it dead. was harder back then. But, st- like, niggas was, was still on bullshit. Like, what? okay, when I got locked up, the county jails was overcrowded. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, that's oh, always the case, though. That shit no, like, right, right overcrowded. Now. Like, a two-man cell had five people in it. Mm. Like, it was bad. Yeah, I, I remember at a time, yeah. at a time in our country, like, it was, like, we were talking about the overpopulation of uh, yeah, the jails and everything. Yeah, niggas was catching football numbers young. Mm. Like... My first charge, I got seven years. And so, then when you locked up with the rest of the people, 10, 15, 20, 30. Damn. These niggas not even 25 yet. Yeah, facts. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was off the chain back then. So wait, back in the day, everybody's getting money from your hood being aggressive. I'm trying to, I don't, I don't you got to make yeah, that make sense all right, me. all right, put it this way. All right, let's say before I, I got locked up 2008. 2007, 2008, you come to Miami. You come to, my, you come to where I'm from. Mm-hmm. All you're gonna see is Monte Carlos, Grand Prix, uh, Chargers, Hemi Chargers, Hemi uh, Challenges on 26s, 24s, everywhere. Like it's not just when you're gonna see one, you're gonna see avalanches, you're gonna see, escal- um, you're gonna see escalators, you're gonna see uh, expeditions, 26s, pa- candy paint with paintbrush on, like a bunch of them. Mm-hmm. Like you, you, you follow me? Like if. You gonna, I can see. You gonna ride the, down the street. You gonna see about five of them. But down that's the street. glam of it. I'm trying to figure out where did it start. Like when you, cause you saying like back before the scam, we had to really get aggressive to get money. Right. I get that. Yeah. But in my mind, I'm like, I don't under. I even though I, I understand what you're saying. It's hard for me to see it because if everybody is in your hood, because I'm assuming it ain't that big, the hood, right? If no, every, it's pretty big. No, Miami, and it be pretty big. Okay. See, me, me I'm being because I don't know no better because my hood is like is is. Just the hood. It's a small McCullough homes, right? Yeah, it's, nah, it's, big. It's, it's big. Okay, so in North Miami, if everybody is being on the same bully bullshit, right? Yeah. To get money, I'm like, y'all all had to be killing each other, taking from each other, robbing each other. Yeah. Like, so then everybody couldn't be rich unless, like, how, how did not this circle happen? Not everybody's rich, but everybody was touching some paper. Not everybody, but you get when I say everybody. So you take from him, him take from him, and then. Nah, nah. I was, everybody got their own plans, their own, their, you know, their own strategic way of getting. Okay. I don't like to do shit in my backyard. Okay. I never been. So like, y'all would leave. Yeah, some people, yeah, some people would leave. Some people would do shit here, like where you know, it is just how however you want to do it. Some people was smarter. Some people was dumb with it. Like, but it's like you wanted to, you wanted to touch some paper because right. you going to school, and niggas is coming to school every day fresh jays. And you don't remember where that like the origin of this wanting to get paper because when I was young we ain't think it's about Miami. getting money. That's always been Miami. Yeah, that's always been Miami. Okay. Miami, home of the hustlers. Like, okay. Yeah, that's like, it's, it's, it's since I could remember. Like, that's just the culture. All right. Getting See, money, that's what like, I'm, okay, because yeah. that's what I'm trying to figure out. I remember me coming up. It's fast. I wanted to play sports. There. You know what I'm saying? Like, we weren't even thinking about money. Shit, niggas wanted to play sports, but I don't know what it is. It's like, you want to get too early. Right. Because you see so much. Mm-hmm. Maybe if I was somewhere where I ain't see as much, my mind frame would have been different. But I'm seeing it. Like, I'm seeing my older cousins pull up to their mom's house, like, Tahoe's on sixes. I'm in middle school. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tahoe's on sixes. Monte Carlo's on sixes. Like, these are cars I want. Like, mm. I'm like, man, what y'all doing? They looking at me like, come on, man, jit, man. Go sit down somewhere. Like, So let me ask you this then. Was that, that lifestyle, because you say Miami was the home of the hustlers, right? Yeah. Is that synonymous with the Haitians and the Zoes, or like, because in my mind, I want to know it, it's different from from growing up in Miami, yeah. but then growing up Haitian in Miami. Yeah, it was. I mean, it how, wasn't just Haitians back then. It wasn't. But just I'm saying Haitians. from your experience, though, how was it personally being Haitian in Miami? I mean, it wasn't cool to be Haitian when I was like. It started being cool to be Haitian like probably when I when I was in high school. Mm. Like it started being cool. Like people was jocking it. Like. Oh, I'm fucking with the Zoes. Like, you know what I'm when saying? When was the switch? Probably like 
Like not I, in high school. Like what was it? What what happened for for the switch? Did you see it? Was it something you like started getting you money? See? But you said everybody in Miami was getting money though. No, not everybody. But like, all right, the Zos took it to another level. How? All right, let's say if average if average around that time. You say a nigga was all right with 20 grand, 30 grand back then, right? Mm -hmm. You was okay. Like, you was cool. Like, let's say from 20 to 30, young nigga walking around with 200, 300. Got 300 put up. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, young nigga, like not even 25 yet. Zoles. And it was a bunch of Zoles like that. Mm -hmm. You see young niggas pulling up all type of whips. Like, you know what I'm saying? So we took the cake for that. Once that started, you know how that trickled down. Girls. Mm. I don't want a Zoe. I don't want a Zoe. We in Bow Harbor. We shopping. Like, we buying all the designer. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got the, we making the money. So now it became a thing. We in the club fucking the clubs up. Mm. More than ever. More than anybody has ever had. You know what I'm saying? It's like puddles. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and all the bitches know, all the bitches in the city know, like, Zoe's. So at that time, were y'all always, like, sticking together or... Was it y'all still it was, even had y'all beefing um, in between? How 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 it is in Miami? You stick with your neighborhood. So like, even so, you would see it wouldn't be foreign to see it's, Zos. It's not Miami, but it's different part sections. Section, okay, sections off. But it wouldn't be foreign to see Zos beefing with other Zos. Would nah, be? yeah, Zos was beefing with Zos. Yeah, there was, there was. It's section. You know, this my section. This your section. East side, west side. All that. You know. So was it like a thing? You know how they say family. Like my, I could beef with my family, but if you beef with me while I'm beefing my family, then we, we on your ass. Was it like that? I'm just trying to, I'm trying to understand how it was in Miami at this time when you growing up being Haitian, being a Zoe, right? So like, was it like, y'all could beef with each other, but nobody could then beef with us if we beef with each other? Like, you know, nah, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't like that. Nah, it wasn't like that. It was just really just sectioned off for real, for real. So it sounded like just some regular hood shit. Yeah, so it was, um, yeah, pretty much. Like you, if this your section right here, this your, sometimes it'll be shit blocks apart. But this is a different section. Mm. And it's blocks apart. Niggas beefing with that section. But it's just a couple blocks apart. It'd be shit like that. Who else came out of, like, North Miami? Was it anybody else? Like, any other rappers or anybody that was, North like, Miami. big time? Yeah. Big time, nah. 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 I asked that because um, I'm listening. As I listen to your music. Yeah, Zoe Dollars. Okay. Okay. I, I, I asked that because as I'm listening to your music, I feel like it's nothing that I, it's nobody else from my, from Florida that yeah. I can really compare it to. It, it sounds different to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My sound different from everybody else's. I say you can you can agree with yeah. that. Yeah, not facts. I feel facts. like Florida has like that. Um, how would you say like a lazy flow? Almost like I don't know. How yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, it's like, like it's cool. Well, Miami got its own sound in general. Though, besides Florida, Miami got its own sound. Like it's a, it's like a we choose like the the island bop beats mixed with rap beat like. You probably yeah. like it's kind of like they call it jit music. They used to. Yeah, I remember. I remember yeah. the first time I heard jit. I ain't know what the hell was that, but it's like a, like a little jit. Like yeah, like we call it like mini Joe. Like like yeah, a little jit. nigga. Like you a little jit for real. Yeah, jit. That's like a Florida thing. Okay, damn. So okay, so Miami. I is, say I say Ross was the one that came out. Like once Ross got on, he, his flow was different. Wait, where 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 where, where Ross from? He from Carroll City. Another another city in like yeah. Miami, like another small town. It's not in Miami. far from North Miami. It's not too Okay. Because okay. North Miami big. Kara City big. But they call it Miami Gardens. Miami Gardens, North Miami, I'll say about the two biggest cities in Miami. Okay. Yeah, when you think of like Rick Ross and like, I don't know who, like a DJ Khaled, uh, yeah. would you say they putting on for Miami in the right way? Yeah, I mean, they definitely put Miami on the map for sure. Now, I'm like in a different way. You know what I'm saying? Trick Daddy put Miami on the map, but they put, I feel like they put Miami on the map on a different like, nah, facts. worldwide. Like they, they made you want to like, Really eager to come to Miami and see what Miami about. Like, hold up, now I got I got to call your card, bro. We said we was talking offline, and you said you, was, you you wasn't fuck on my wall because it, it was just out of alignment, right? And you was like, one person we got to put with his his category. We were talking about putting Boosie with a Rick Ross. But, yeah, he like Boosie a hood legend. Boosie a hood legend. So you like, would say Boosie going the same category as Rick? Because some I people, say nah. I say I say Nipsey, Nipsey and Boosie. Like this, this lineup, Nipsey and Boosie, nah. Cause I feel like some Jay Z and Jay Z and Fifty, they go with each other right there. I feel like some people would say Rick Ross is on a different level than Boosie. No, he is. No, I'm talking about hood legends though. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Boosie a hood legend. Cause I feel like some niggas look at Rick Ross as like, 
I mean, I personally wouldn't say it, but some people would even say like he's up there with like Drake and like Future. No, Ross up there. I mean, Ross I, definitely up there. I wouldn't say that, but no, Ross could, up there. He up there. You could say that. Bro, no, I'm not even not even on no <laughs> like not even on on no city shit. Like Ralston, you know, you gotta remember like 20, 2011, 2010. Nah, I'll say nigga from 20, 2008. Like 09, I would 2008 say. 2008 to we I'm not even counting every damn hustling. From 2008 to fucking 2012 was Ross. He was the big dog. Yeah. Like besides Wayne. Like, if we're gonna keep it, it was nobody hotter than the Jeezy, yeah, but Ross was like. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, I mean, no, like, Ross, I'm not even on no pulling shit because he from my city, like, for real, for real, like, nah, he was, he was coming back to back with shit. Nah, Ross wanted him for sure. Like, yeah. I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mess with yeah, that. Yeah, he put in his work. So, man. so question, bro, like, how, what was the, I guess the, if we talking getting money, yeah. right, what was y'all go-to for getting money in a North Miami, where you from, in your neighborhood specifically? No, we, we, we that, that's too much information. For real? Boy. This is back in the day. I mean, shit. Boy, ain't no back in the day, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we still getting money, man. We don't do that. <laughs> yeah, we ain't doing okay, that. Okay, okay. Respect. <laughs> okay, so you got seven years. First time you encountered a police interaction, right? Yeah. For Robin. How did you get into Robin then? I mean, I was into a lot of shit. I just never got caught. I got told on. So what was, okay, so what was your go-to for getting money back in the day then. Whatever made sense. Like, what was your first introdu introduction to it? Because I'm like... No, it's just, I, I do shit by myself. What like, was but, but that shit I ain't do by myself. Right, That's I know, I I know you got right on, but I'm saying like, what was your introduction, right? So like, you, you at the end of the day, you still Haitian at the end of the day. And we know that like Haitian parents move a little different, right? Like, so they don't... They not really oh, with yeah, they the strict. yeah they yeah, not really they, they, they really that. strict right they yeah. not with the rapper all that other lifestyle is like is is is, 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 a, is a strict household right so my question to you being Haitian I'm like yo like what was your introduction to street life like I guess somebody from uh nobody put me on but what was the introduction like what, what, what was your first time seeing something that was like oh, I like that I want to get into that you just walk outside bro you, or you coming from school walking home from school you see the cars and it's and it's and it's and it's the people you seeing in these cars is is no no more than probably five years older than you. And then you're like, okay, so I want to yeah, do whatever they doing, I want to do with that. Yeah, and then, you know, you don't really know these niggas like that that's in these cars, so you can't just walk up to them and be like, hey, put me on. You know what I'm saying? You got to figure out, you know, shit, everybody, you know, there's other people that got big cousins they could put them on or get them introduced to certain shit. So what was the first thing you saw that you was like, oh, I could do that and get some money? I don't even remember, though. I, I I touched my first thousand dollars when I was probably 13, 14 years old. Doing what? Hitting licks. So robbing essentially. Like taking nigga shit. Yeah. Here and there. Nigga, you it was all type of shit. It was all type of shit. Nigga, bro. you making this way harder. Nigga, you was a kid. I'm trying to know what the I'm, fuck is going on. I never got caught for it. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I get. I get. I get. I get. I ain't mad at. I get it. I, yeah, I ain't mad at that. Okay. 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 So you finally say, "Yo, I'm about to do this robbing shit." You go to the casino. Your man called you. Robbing. I was serving. I was. Yeah. So your man called you. Say, "I want to do this casino shit" because he know you. You getting into shit, right? Yeah. 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 You. Yeah. You, you. What. What made you say, "Okay, cool, I'm gonna fuck with that," even though you. You never really got into this type of. You never really did this type of shit. No, nah, it was the first time, but it's like the same steps. Like it's when you know, you know. But it's it was easy. The plan was easy. The, mm. We didn't get caught. You know, niggas try to go back being greedy, and then they got caught and then told on. And then they said everything, but I didn't know they told on everything at that time. Have you have you seen these people since yeah. then? Yeah, you seen them. You was in the same like vicinity and everything. No, nah, not same vicinity. Niggas just try to niggas try to. Uh, Make amends, but I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to hit. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Damn. So niggas snitch on you, and I feel like you know it's funny because like everybody always talk about this snitch shit and people like snitching, being snitched on. But it's like it's. I look at it. I'm gonna be real with you. Like I feel like, I feel like how you feel. You tape about to come. I'm not. I'm not them, right? And I always said like I'm not one of these niggas. Like I feel like yeah. a lot of niggas use the come up as some type of marketing tactic to right. get lit. Right. Right. And it's like, nah, I really come from that. Yeah. We can't really market this, to yeah. be honest. You right? can't. Like, you can't market this. Yeah. I'm, it's not It's not cool going in and out of jail, like, all the time, all the time. Like, 
That shit's not cool, bro. Exactly. You understanding that, though, yeah. is another part to this, though, that you benefit from. And yeah. I wouldn't be me if I ain't challenged you on this. I feel like being a quote unquote real nigga yeah. has its benefits when it comes to hip hop. We yes can't ignore that. It does and doesn't. Come on. It doesn't. Not nowadays. It's Before, always had when its. When we was younger, yeah. And nowadays. Nah, this shit all clout. Yeah, but it's no. niggas, it's niggas that's, that never did half the shit I did. That's fake. That's and they're using, they're using fake shit and putting the camera up but, to make it seem like and they going viral with it. Why though? Because it's a benefit from from perpetrating that lifestyle. I can't go live with it though. No, I'm not saying you. No, no, no I'm saying that. It don't benefit me because I'm the real nigga. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying the 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 idea of being from the hood. Be struggling, doing hood activities. Yeah, you really, doing you mean, yeah, you really got a story. It's a benefit from you. You can benefit from the being from the hood yeah. if you're a rapper, if you're in hip hop at all. Like right, you right, can benefit right, right, from right, that. Right, right. To me, that makes no sense. It's a contradiction because how can we sit up here and say, like, matter of fact, let's talk about you. Do you think you would be as successful as a rapper if you didn't have what came with you? If 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 your if your nah, story, nah, I wouldn't. I don't think so. No, a lot of rappers are the same. same I wouldn't way. have the I wouldn't have the battery in my back to talk about what I talk about in my songs to, because I know what I'm talking about came from. I did really did it. You know right. what I'm saying? So I wouldn't sound as confident probably. And not even a battery though. The fact that you have those experiences. Yeah, the, experience, the fact yeah. that people can vouch for you. The fact that yeah. it's real, right? Yeah. I I speak on that because we the same ones, right? Because I've seen you speak on it. That's going to say, yo, going to jail not cool. Yeah, we the same ones because we've been through it. We the same ones that's going to be like, we're going to encourage kids to go to school and shit like that, right? As yeah, we yeah. should. Yeah. However, that's not synonymous and that's not, like, that's a direct contradiction of being a successful rapper as we see it now. Right. Kind of, yeah. This shit is, just, I just feel like it's all messed up. I feel like, like I told me before, I feel like, I noticed like, yeah, being, being a real nigga in this shit, it, it got its perks, but it's like, when you know you you can't do as much as these guys is doing. Mm. Like, niggas is going on live. Niggas is doing this. Niggas is recording everything. Like, recording, recording, recording. I'm scared of the camera. I'm terrified of the camera. Mm -hmm. I, My whole career, I never had a cameraman walk around with me. Because, like, how I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? I don't want none of this stuff to even slip on camera. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's where I lacked that. Like, because I needed that. I, need, I needed people to see, like, I'm in the studio... I, I just, I knocked out a whole tape in three days, like, without being there for 12 hours a day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want people to see that. But I got three phones going off at once. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't I can't have all that on camera. Like, I'm going to have to keep pausing it. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it don't, you know, it got its ups and downs. No, nah, that's true. Um, I only speak on that because it's like, yo, like, wanting to... When it comes to hip hop, bro, especially like not even just hip hop, like just our culture of like the hoods where we come from, even though it's different. I just feel like on one side, when you really from that, yeah. like niggas ain't like my OGs. I never was like a gang. I wasn't no gang nigga. I wasn't no street nigga. I yeah. just come from a city where, like I said before, like you ain't got to be other hood for the hood to run into you. You know what I'm trying to say? Like that's just is what it is. I say that to say when I was coming up, the niggas that was getting into it encouraged us to go to school. Like they encourage us to play football, do right, all that, right? right the right, same right. as you would, because you know that, bro. This you don't want this. Yeah, like it might look good, but you don't want this. Yeah, that should come with headache. Exactly, but it's like I wanted to talk about that contradiction of like it's some positive. We can see the good in the hip hop aspect of it because every rapper that we know that's lit talk about the struggle. Facts. Every rapper, so it's like, bro, what you mean? Don't do this. I gotta do this for me to get sell records. I gotta do this. It's, it's almost yeah, like talking about what fit. I went through. Yeah, it's a story. It's a book. Or not even talk about it. I gotta create something. I gotta go through something for me to be a rapper. To be a rapper. Yep. And that's crazy. Yeah, a successful one for sure. You think that's crazy or like? I mean, you, it's just you don't have to go through some. Name a if rapper. You go, if you going trap rap, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. say name a trap rapper. No, nah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go. You trap can't. rapper. You got to, yeah. But that's like, you don't see how we promoting yeah. poison almost. It's like, damn. No, nah, it is poison. It is. Because the music is really what uh, boosts you to do the dumb shit. 
You know what I'm saying? It mm-hmm. is poison, but that's what all they want to hear is poison. All they want to see is poison. Mm. Like I could post something positive. That shit'll probably get some likes for some some real people that follow me, but I post some bullshit that I didn't want to post. Yeah. That shit gonna go crazy. Facts. Hundred percent. Like it's, 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 I just it's just I gotta fight myself mm. just so I can make this shit work. I gotta go against my morals sometimes. I'm not gonna go out my character all the way, you know what I'm saying? But certain things I won't want to post, I don't want to post, I don't want to show. Like, nah, you tripping? Like, this is what they want to see. This is what they're gonna help you get there. I only had that conversation because you said because I not. feel like I'm reaching when I do it. Exactly. I only had that conversation because you said I'm not. I'm not them. Yeah. And a lot of these things, them guys do, for publicity. Yeah. For marketing. Yeah. For shit that's gonna help. Because it's like if you don't do it, it's like they gonna give a fuck about you. you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. So, like, do you cha- do you feel like is it ever a challenge to not be one of them, but also be successful in the career that you took? I'm not. I'm, I'm still not one of them because I'm the. It's certain things I'm not doing. Like, it's certain things that like, you're not gonna really see me. I, like, I'm like a ghost. Like, you know. You know. But do saying? you think that's the thing that might be holding you back? Yeah, it is. Mm. It is facts. Because I seen. Um, I think. Let me see. First of all, shout out to my guy. He sent me the tracks off of I'm Not Them, right? And I was listening to the music and I was just jotting down some notes. And, um... Yeah, you see your full influence? I fuck with that. But it was... I, I listened to all of them. Uh, you were saying... One second. I think you said, uh... You was like, if dedication was a person, it would be me. You right. said, I, uh... Can't nobody in this world say I ain't go hard enough. Yeah. All the blood, sweat, and tears, I gotta wipe it up. Yeah. You got me asking myself, damn, is you raw enough? Yeah. And it made me think of like, yo, like that sound like a nigga that been working hard his entire career and still don't think he get the love that he deserve. Right. Facts. And again, back to the tape, I'm not them. I will only assume it feels like, man, it seems like times I got to act out a character just to get the love when that's not me. Yeah. You deal with that a lot? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What keeps you in mode or what keeps you, so to say, not not acting out of character? Like what what what, what makes um, you stay stay you? Hearing 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 what hearing what uh hear, hearing feedback from I guess you could say the right people. Mm. Feedback like from credible people. That's what keep me going. Like I'll walk outside and it'll be a random person, know who I am. Just be like, bro, when you dropping again? I'm like, I just dropped like three, four months ago. Mm. Nah, man, I'm done with that. I done, I done ran through. I need another one. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then you got people like, niggas like Future. Mm. Like Future. Like, I don't, I don't bother, you know. You know, I always, I always stayed in my lane. Like, you know, because people like Future, Meek, and these dudes, like, they get people coming up to them 24-7. Oh, I rap. I do this. I do that. So, like, or. You know, actually, I, I, I'm that type of nigga. I, I watch these niggas from afar, and I soak it up like a sponge. And I know what beats everything. Hard work beats everything. Hard work beats talent. So I'm going to work hard. I know my shit going to be. And it's people like Future that acknowledge me. Like, you know what I'm saying? That never really mean, even before we and him even had a real like conversation. It was like, what's up here and there? And that's it. He was like, man, you one of them ones. Like, don't stop. Mm. He was like, I remember you from before seeing you around. Like. I'm in the, you know, I'm. He might uh around the time when he dro- they dropped super slimy. Now, I was around for that whole weekend. You know, we slide in different spots. You know, they promoting the tape and shit. I'm in the pack with them. I'm in the big body bins too. Like they like who the young nigga is. Like, you know, I'm quiet. Like I'm just soaking it in. Like, I'm fresh out of prison. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then he was like, I remember that. Like me and my brothers, and we remember you. Like he was like, man, you real humble. You got a good name in this industry. Don't change. Mm. Like he said, man, I got you. Like we just got locked in. I got you on the verse. Like. Yeah, I was going to ask because, like, sure. people like Meek. And it's funny, like, because people make fun of me because I always, like, I always go to war for Meek because I feel like he's one of the niggas that really came from the places a lot of niggas act like they came from. And I seen him put on yeah, people. Meek, bro, Meek, is one of, Meek is one of us. He's a, bro, yeah. nigga, he's a nigga with money. Like, he's, he's rich. He's a regular nigga. Like, yeah. he's not no stuck-up nigga. Like, he's a regular nigga. Like, the way they playing with his name is like, I don't, you know. He deal with it how he deal with it. I don't know how he dealing with it, but yeah, nah, but he don't crazy. he don't give a fuck about that shit for real. That shit gotta get to a nigga head some type of way sometimes. Yeah, it's it's frustrating. Yeah. It's frustrating for sure, but it's like, you know. 
But that's why I, that's why I rock with him because, like you said, he one of us. And and, and from my experience, you a nigga from Miami. Yeah. Nigga, I'm from Baltimore. I didn't see him nah, put it's, on it's rough. a few niggas from my city. Nah, like, facts. literally. Nah, he has. Chino. Chino. Yeah, fucking, Chino. Uh, my nigga, rest in peace, uh, Scooter up next. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Um, Scola. Like, I didn't see him come to the city yeah. and fuck with niggas. Not even including rest in peace to uh, Snoop. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. and, he, and he do that shit out of love. And he won't give a fuck if you ever make a dollar off it. Exactly. Of All of these niggas that we see that come from like neighborhoods that look like us. So right. it ain't no way I'm not saluting a nigga. Right. So like, I was going to ask you, how is the Dream Chaser shit going? He trying to he trying to rebuild it because you know it was on the Rock Nation. Oh, so it kind of fell apart after the Rock Nation. Yeah, that's, that's done. It's, it's, it's damn near no, not even no more Rock Nation. Oh, shit. So, so how did like, that affect what you got going on? Like, we all, you know, he, he ain't keeping us, like, tied. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we all independent. You know, we still repping D.C. Mm -hmm. We all independent, though, but, he, you know, he's trying to find a new, like, a new situation for D.C. Okay. So How was the, um like, when you in these rooms with Meek, what are some of the things that he's telling you that, that really stuck and that helped you in your career? He, to be honest, he don't got to tell me much. Mm. If I'm around him, I just, I see it. The nigga works like... He, he he never got signed before. Really? It's crazy because I hear that about niggas like I hear that about niggas that's that's up there like a, a niggas a, like him and future, bro. They I, work I was gonna like, say like future like thug, yeah. They work like they never got signed before. Cause they look at us like, bro, this is what I've been wanting to do my whole life, and I'm making millions off this shit. Why would I slow down? Same same mindset I got. Mm. If you people really you got they got niggas then got a real core fan base like a real cult behind them like why stop these people want to hear from you you know what I'm saying man Meek be bullshit man he needs to drop some more music though I know he just yeah he some. do be taking long to drop music that I say yeah, like, nah that, that nigga be he be having too he's much so, fun he, nah he's so picky that's what it is he'll, he'll drop he'll drop bro, he'll record probably 20-30 records this week right and then he'll be fucking loving them shits and then he'll record another 20 pack and he's like he don't give a fuck about them other 20 no more this and everybody like, bro, you need to drop them shits. He like, he be overthinking it. He play too much, That bro. nigga got some shit, bro. Yo, Alex, my producer, uh, he's actually Haitian as well. You said you had some, had a question too. Oh, yeah, how that shit was? You ever been? Hell yeah. I fuck, I love Haiti. How, wait, 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 before you ask. Because I remember he had FaceTime me there, or like when he was leaving, and he was like, it really was like an eye opener for you, right? He was like, man, it yeah. made you like, what? What was your experience when you went? It was, a, it was an eye opener for me too. It was like my first time that I went. I yeah, like, your first time. I was like, damn. Like, I like that type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like. What it make you feel though? Seem like if it made me, it made me look at life like, man, we in, we over there in America. Like, people really like trying to kill themselves to get a pair of Gucci sneakers. Like, man, the people. It's not just Haiti. Like islands in general, them kids happy with nothing. Mm. Like really happy. Like happier than us. Yeah. Like if me and you had a million dollars right now, they happier than us. Mm. Like with nothing. I feel like you were saying that. Um, that, that shit made me, that shit opened my eyes. I'm like, oh. I feel like Alex, you were saying that like it really man, showed I really, you that man, this when is I, was where... I, took, I had some uh, Golden Goose on. I paid 750 for I took them shits off my feet and gave it to the DJ. I swear to God. Oh, wow. I swear. They were, I got there, they'll play my music. Oh, so they already I did a free performance in. and all. Damn, that's hard. That's I brought a couple thousand and ones, threw it to all the kids. I wish I brought more. That's gangster. Yeah, I took my I took them shits off, man. That's gangster. Go ahead, Alice. I'm sorry. Um, I wouldn't say back home, but I'm tapped in with like Kanye's, uh, Tony Mix. I'm tapped in with those guys. Yeah. DJ Wool, shout out DJ Wool if you hear this. You're going to be excited. But that's why I get the shoes too. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm tapped in with them. I'm not, I'm tapped in with too many. Uh, Yo, I feel like um, you're still on the rise and a lot of people are still getting that, that first introduction to you. Right. However, it's funny because you said some some funny shit in the text. And um, we won't have to say exactly what it was, but uh, I was wondering, do you feel like a lot of people know who you are? You talking about the Demir song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, hell yeah, a lot of people know who I am. But they try you know, to like... You know, I, st I just started realizing that, though, probably like, I'll say like a, a year and a half ago. Because I was like, you know, I'm in my bubble. Like, you don't yeah. know who really... And it, it take people, like I said, like people like 
that you don't speak to. Like, I don't speak the future a lot. Like, niggas like them. Mm -hmm. If he know who I am and he watching me, these niggas... And Meek tells me all the time, he's like, but people ask about you. So you brought it up, nigga. I wasn't gonna say it, but anyway, since you nah, brought yeah, it up, yeah, I'm the so first nigga that came out with them. No, I'm, I don't think I know. So you, so you telling me you know niggas? So your song is like, I'm gonna make a song and copy his swag. They heard it. People, I people watch my stories. I'm not gonna call no names out. People watch my stories. They watch my page. <laughs> listen to I me. I feel like I know this nigga hey, for so long. I'm gonna just yo, listen to me. <laughs> as soon as, as I ain't even troll, I'm telling you real shit. No, I said me. I'm, Bro, my fans, my fans started tagging these rappers. All right, so I put it. All right, hold up. I, no, 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 no. You opened the door for this shit. I, I said I wasn't gonna mention this shit. Right. And one all thing right, hold about up. It, dates for everything. No, nah, so I pull up Demir. Mm hmm. And the first artist I see is Finesse Two Times. His shit came out almost a month after mine. So, no, later, later than that. So you telling me, you about to sit up here telling me, Finesse seeing your shit on the story, I'm like, nah, I'm about to, I need to make that, I need to make that a song. You know I get played in the clubs, right? Yeah. You know I get played in different states, right? What clubs are you getting played in? I can show you my charts on Apple Music alone. Miami for sure. My top five, no, my top five, my number one is Atlanta. In the club? I ain't never hear you in Miami. I mean, Nigga, in Atlanta. A girl FaceTimed me in Lennox Mall. My songs was getting played throughout the whole mall. <laughs> that's mall. That's no, the mall. The mall. That's even better than the club. That's the mall. Lennox Mall. Well, she FaceTimed me. What they say? They say Drake uh, Drake make music for like mall music. That's what they say. Nah, you know, Lennox hey. Mall, they playing rap. You know, that shit. Different. Yeah, no, nah, fine, fine. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you mean to tell me you think a nigga My heard? top five, Atlanta, Miami, Chicago, North Carolina, Texas. <laughs> and New York Okay Yeah So you I don't know if I've ever been in a club I heard top here That would be hard I would like it I fuck with the music You don't look like you be in the club too often Nigga you can go to hell I mean no, You don't look I like used you be in the club, club. You like be at bars or something <laughs> 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 Nigga fuck you <laughs> Nigga I used to be in the club All the time I used to host in the club A lot Every weekend Like three four times a week you know, bar ain't the same as Bro, I used to be in a club. What you mean? What you talking about, you like nigga? You host nigga, I used to host a club. What are you talking about? Big clubs. Lounge. It's giving lounge. It's giving lounge. Yeah, it's giving lounge. Nigga. Or, uh, the uh, beer bars. Nigga, go to that. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Just because, nigga, see, I'm glad. You know what? I'm not one of them. I'm glad it looks like that. I'm that, That's good. That's what it's that, giving. Yeah. What that's club what it's you giving. Was going to? What club? What club? Nigga, when I first got down here, right, I was hosting right. at Opium. But I, I, I've been here there for three years. I'm from Baltimore. So like when I was in Boston, I was that I was that nigga in Boston hosting in and the club. And then you every br club. You bring it down here. I brought the podcast. So hold on. Down so here. you in Atlanta, you never heard Tafia. I never heard Tafia in the club. You don't go out. What you mean? Listen to me. God can strike me dead right now if I'm lying, right? I jumped in the Uber. I will FaceTime a club oh, hold promoter hold on. right now. Go ahead. But I jumped in the Uber. I had a hoodie on. <sighs> a nigga's playing my song, Poet. He playing Poet, right? He don't know it's Tafia sitting in the back seat. Okay, hold God on. God can strike me there right now. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Hold you know on. what I did? I said, damn, you fuck with this rapper? He said, yeah, I got right, a couple cool, of his songs cool. on, on, on playlist. See, this nigga, see, I told you, I feel like I know this nigga for year, 10 years now. Nigga, we we just fucking, fucking around at this point. Hold up. Let's see. Nah, because you want to test me. I'm gonna All right, the nigga going to pick up, be like, bro, you ain't come here in the year. You going gonna to call you up. <laughs> All right, now. Nah. We shit. Max, <laughs> no, I ain't been in a club in a year. I've been doing this podcast. Look, he shit. hung up too. No, he right, answered right, the right. phone. Uh, he, he probably ain't got your number saved no more. He ain't seen you in so long. This nigga, he gonna make me look bad. Damn, I don't, Tweak know, no, I don't know no other. Atlanta's my number one. Now hold up, hold up, yo, hello, hello. Damn, look, 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 look. See there, got me looking crazy. See? I ain't answering your fucking phone when you call back. All right, so fuck that. Okay, so you saying nigga heard your song in the club on, on the gram or whatever be like, y'all going to make a song because Tafia did it. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, but I was the first one to make it. Okay. You know it what? It was I, more than that, though. I'm, I, was, I wasn't coming for Finesse two times. You said his name. But oh, yeah. I'm saying it was a couple more. Because that was the only one I seen with the nah, Demir song. It's a, no, it's not even the Demir song. It's what I said in the song, too. But, you know, you go, you, you listen to my, you keep listening to my, well. What you say? No, matter of fact, nah. I ain't put that song on this tape. I am put on. Damn, I should have. But nah, nah. Come on. You cap. What I will say, no, what I will say though. What? I I knew you was so like like I said, I already I was already tapped in with you. I knew you was one of them niggas when I seen the um, what's the nigga name? Steve will do it shit. Yeah. I was like, oh, that nigga really tapped in with this, this shit. When y'all uh the young nigga Perkyo. Yeah. Um 
I think I don't know. I don't remember what happened. The nigga, they, what happened? They, they tried to make him uh, wear the uh, whose jacket was um somebody jacket uh. It might have been somebody that Dirk was beefing with or something. Right, 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 right. They tried to make him wear the jacket. Right. And they, um, they, they, they made it seem like they had a booking for him. To yeah. Pay him and they finessed him to come over there. Y'all niggas pulled up. How did he that happen? He called me. He called me. Perky will call you. Yeah. I had a conversation with him before that, though. Wait, how did this happen? I had a conversation with Perky before that, like, on some, like, because they told him, like, he want to know who, like, you know, like, who the top Zos was, like, in the Haitian, like, rappers or whatever in the scene, on the scene. Mm -hmm. And then he tapped in with me, I tapped in with him one time. And then the second time was that incident. And so what? He calls you and say, yo, niggas is playing. Like, how, how did that happen? Yeah. And um, he was like, man, I, he was like, he was really scared because he, he how it look online. Yeah. He and a young he, dude too. He, so we ain't about to And you know, Dirk was showing him so much love. And he said, like, I don't want to upset this nigga. Like, I don't want this, I don't want this nigga to be mad at me thinking like I'm on some like funny shit. Like these niggas really try to finesse me. And I'm mad because I'm like, I got hot because. He don't know how this shit go down over here because he 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 only been in America two years, if that at the time, a mm -hmm. year and a half. He don't he's from Haiti. He don't know what's he green to this shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm like, so I I forgot how I tapped in with Steve would do it. I forgot. I think I'm I made a post or some shit like that. Tag six nine and six nine got in my comments. I wanted six nine though. Mm -hmm. I really wanted him. I was gonna make an example out of him. You see how nobody was able to yeah, catch him? Yeah. Nah, I was gonna catch him. I had got him touched though. A random fan just hit him in his shit for me. What you and sent it to him? Send it to me. Yeah. Oh, you in really, front of security. You remember when he was walking about yeah, to get on the screen and somebody that. punched him in shit? So you was behind me. that. Yeah. How the fuck? And I ain't even know him. I don't even know, dude. He sent it to me five o'clock in the morning. He said it's for you. Nah, bro. What the fuck you got going on in my Hey man, solid nigga. Solid man. No solid, bro. Like nah. We won't play that shit, man. So wait, so so you tapped him with Steve will do it. You you just hit him like, yo, I need to talk to you. Like uh, it was a little no, I ain't threaten him. I ain't I ain't threaten him because I know he wasn't the one behind it. Yeah. I don't I so know you got you he the, the you you he just ain't realized he um uh six nine sent him to like made him finesse him to do it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted six nine to be there. So when y'all pulled up and that go down, are y'all looking at him different or is it like understanding? No, nah, it's like nah, you you embarrass this nigga. You tried him. It's not just an apology because he's like, oh, I want to apologize to him. I feel bad now because after I had to talk with him, mm -hmm. I'm like, no, it's not just an apology. Now nah, you gotta, you gotta give him something. Mm. I don't want nothing. I got my own money. He don't got nothing really. He trying to, he trying to make a living out of this shit. Right. Nah, bless him. So okay, so now because we talked about this a little bit, right? About not being one of them. This is the thing. Your project is coming out. Not being them, right? Yeah. I'm not them. That's a mixture of. Having to promote the bullshit, the phones, right? Marketing, mm -hmm. but also something being real. Because that was a real situation that happened. Yeah. Y'all put that online. On my page, yeah. But I ain't put it on no blogs or nothing. Right, you put it on your page. The blogs picked it up, and then y'all yeah, put it on my page. But that's one of those examples of like... <laughs> yeah. A real nigga, you probably wouldn't do that if you wasn't a rapper. I probably still would because it was it started online. Okay. You get what I'm saying? That it makes started sense. online, you know, because... This guy got embarrassed online, so it's gonna go under the under the rug. Like I what happened it. after? You know I get saying? it. It's yeah. like it's like it's kind of like a a public apology. If you disrespect me publicly, you gotta re or, uh, right, apologize. apologize publicly. Okay, like, you know what I'm saying? I, that, that makes sense. Type how shit. has been? How 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 did the little nigga been? Perky, I haven't seen him since then. I ain't seen him since then either. You talked to him? No. Nah. He is old, right? Like he's yeah, he Haitian. Haitian. Yeah, he Haitian. I don't I, know. I don't know. I, I think they're doing on, all right though. Check in on the little dude, man. I checked on him before. You know. No, I, it's been a while though. Talking about um people using this gang shit or this hood shit to to accelerate their careers. When you posted that, did that uh did that help anyway in your career? Um be real. I I don't feel like it did. So niggas like ain't really tapping much you more? No, nah, niggas tapped in niggas, niggas remember me for it, like how you just brung it up. Niggas, of course, around that time everybody was like, Oh, you the dude with Perky or like everywhere yeah. I was going, but I don't feel like it changed as far as like it didn't make me go to another level. What you think is missing then? Marketing. Cause you got you gotta think about it. You knew about me because you just you knew I was putting in work. Yeah. But you never see me exploited throughout the whole like online. Nah. I, I never, never had that. I yeah. never had digital marketing my whole career. Okay. So what I mean, bro, you getting all this money. Why not just put the money in the marketing? You gotta know where to put it. It's not it's not, it's not even that, you know, that you gotta still spend money, beats and 
you know, that shit, that shit, it costs some cheese. It's not crazy cheese, but it's like the machine, I, I signed for the machine, you know, they, they was more old school with it. Raw Nation was more old school with it. Like They just were worried about radio. Mm. They wasn't worried about, it. so I'm watching all these, these guys, like basically my peers blowing past me and everybody's like, bro, what about, they were, like my fans, like, yo, Top is supposed to, like people coming up to Meek, like, yo, what's up with Top? You're like, Meek's telling me this shit. And then, you know, he's handling his shit. Raw Nation's the one that's supposed to really, you know, put the digital marketing plan behind together. But they they move a little different. They, you know, they more old school with it. Like they just worried about, you know, keep, you know, oh yeah, keep staying consistent, keep, you know, go to state to state, handshaking, this and that radio. That's cool too, but you still need digital marketing at a different time. No, nah, facts. Yeah, I, I peeped when this shit was changing. 2021. Any rapper that blew up after 2021, it's not, it's, it's, you're not going to see them. It's, they're not, it's never going to be... A, anybody after 2021 is never going to be another Future, another Meek, another Drake, another 10-year run. That's dead. No, nah, facts. Because the way they jacked up this whole algorithm shit is like... Shit, it's like popcorn now. Like, you just got to get your little wave, make your money, and then... Basically, you got to keep spending money. Basically. Mm. No, nah, facts. You always got to keep spending money, but you now you got to keep spending like you're a new artist every time you drop. If you want to really stay consistent for all these years. Nah, that shit is crazy. Yeah, I did want to talk to you about some just some real shit real quick. Um, the one thing that I thought was interesting was like the the people that snitched on you was like your best friends. Yeah. And um, I think I seen you, you talk about this somewhere. About like just friends, like be careful with like the friends you keep or just be careful of friends in general. Yeah. And I'm like, that shit sounds... Sound crazy, right? Not even crazy. It, it it sounds like my heart, like my heart goes out for you for that because it's like I will understand why you feel like that. But damn, everybody need friends. No, 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 you. I got friends. I it's just you gotta you gotta really the friends you might think is the solid ones. You gotta you gotta gotta keep an eye open. But if you're not into that, if you're not into that world, you ain't really got too much to worry about. But I was into that, you know, that lifestyle. It's a little more. You got to be more on point. But even you know what I'm saying? but I, if you're not in the street life and then shit like that, you ain't got too much to worry about. You just gotta worry about being somebody being like like a liar or some shit. Like, you know. But and that's what I wanted to talk about, not to get too heavy in my soapbox, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't have this conversation. I feel like, I mean, that's the experience that you've been through, right? Yeah. And like, I mean, our prior experience shaped the way we move facts in our present, in our present day. And I feel like at the highest level of friendship, your best friend told on you. Yeah. Like, how are you able to trust anybody else that you even come encounter to? I, I started, um, I started getting closer to the friends that wasn't in the streets. Mm. Yeah. But My even they can, the, huh? even they can still crush you, though. It might not be how on they, that level. It's going to be tough. Because what are they going to cross me on? Mm. You get what I'm saying? We I mean, ain't no money exchanging. It's just, just straight friendship. That's it. Mm. That's all. What about um, like industry and the actions? Like everybody always say it's fake in the industry, things like that. Like, and sometimes I even find yeah, it's, it hard. It's, 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 a, it's a business. I don't take that personal. It's a business. Like, I'm 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 worthless if nobody can you can use me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a business. They, they you know we're not here. I didn't get put in for people to. Ah know. man, you bullshit me on your song. Hold up. Uh, what is it? Uh. Been the one? Been the one. I've been the one. Been the one. On a song you said, I've been the one that still show love when they still owe me. I've been the one that show love when they still owe me. That ain't got nothing to do with the industry. Yeah, don't. But what I'm yeah. saying is, like, that's that's real nigga shit, right? So yeah. when I think about industry things, or I feel like, follow me, a lot of times niggas say it's business. Yeah. When, when I hear that, that's more than business. And sometimes you, and I was just talking to uh, my producer about this. Sometimes you might meet somebody in business, doing business, and do more than business with them. Right? Like, you mm -hmm. might, like, I offer my house to, to some niggas I meet doing business. Yeah. Right? That was, you know, that, that was a line I know a lot of people could relate to. Right. Yeah. But so, you yeah. doing that, it's like, yo, like, yeah, man, you ain't never meet nobody in this. And it's like, man, it's, it's, it's more than business, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, it was business. business, but like now, it's like, more you than got business. real. Yeah. yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, that was just something. That's just like personal shit. They ain't really industry. Mm. That's like, you know, somebody you looked out for. But you never looked out for a nigga in the industry and they like still play with you? Nah. Nah. Mm -mm. If Because if I do something, 
if I do something, if I show love in the industry, I just did it because I wanted to. I ain't looking for nothing in return. Okay. Yeah. But where do you, I mean, sometimes you want like reciprocation, don't know. It sounds like like you're not a robot, it's, nigga. It's, it's, no, it's, no, it's me wanting to do it just to look out. Mm. It ain't somebody that need it. Like it, it might be some people that need it from mm. me on my charge, but I did a lot of free features too just to help. Mm. I ain't doing it for nothing in return. So if a nigga, if you did a feature for. Cause I got I to, gotta, because I got to look at it like this. I got a lot of big features for free. Okay, yeah. Davido, you know, Jeremiah, Dolph, Ross, Meek. Uh, the list goes on. I got songs, P&B Rock I ain't put out, like, before I got signed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I got shown the love, so why not reciprocate it? You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't got to do it to nobody that's going to. I feel like I need something back from. No, nah, that makes sense. So you think the the only thing that's holding it back is the is the marketing? Yeah, that's all it is, marketing. That's all I'm missing. I ain't missing nothing else. Like the labels told me, like you're the you're the best artist anybody could have asked for. Mm. I'm doing the work plus more. Nah. Like I've been told I was doing too much. What that mean? What you mean, like doing too much? I like can't... I'm in the studio, I'm making the music, and I'm on calls with the label every day, making sure shit goes how I want it. Like I see, uh... or trying to. Throw ideas and shit. You probably can do some more interviews, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that's their job to set it up for me. Oh, okay. I'll send them my own shit. No, how do you like the space of like journalism and like just these podcasts and shit? I don't mind interviews. It just I like I like that's why I came here. I want interviews that people really like talking about something. Like you not just I go on the interview, ask me the same five questions you same ask everybody else. Like I uh -huh. I ain't come all the way here for just for that. No, nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, facts. And then that shit is just, if I'm not interested to watch it, I know a lot of people are not going to be interested to watch it. You know, it's funny. I, I ask that because like, um, with this space of like podcasters, podcasting, you don't really have to be a journalist to do an interview. Like Kendrick Lamar just did this interview with SZA. And like a lot of the journalists are upset because it's like, bro, what the fuck? If you're going to do an interview, you're talking about this monumental moment. Why not do it with a journalist and you do it with SZA? Nah, man. I was going to be no, that's, them days over with where you got to put a title to shit. Those days are done, bro. They got to get with the times. So, they probably so, don't want to lose their job, but... Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what it <laughs> like, is, bro. Yeah. Of course, like, I'll be... Them days over. So you could technically... You could just have your homie, like, yo, let's do an interview. You, you could yeah, put up some content think, like yeah, that. Yeah, we done, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we definitely. So you don't believe in, like, going to, like, traditional journalists? No. I don't care. I'll do it. But it got to be something worth going to. Well, I appreciate you saying this is worth it, my nigga. <laughs> no, facts. It got to be something worth it, for real. I, I'm still trying to get my man. I watch back. your shit. That's why I can't. I, it ain't got a lot of me, nigga. I wouldn't, trust me. I wouldn't. I would have told you shit ass, bro. <laughs> 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 okay, so the tape is coming out. What, like, what's what's your plans behind this tape? But how, What you going to do different this time so everybody this a different, can... This is a different sound from Tafia. You ain't, you ain't pee like it's more vibey. Yeah. This now, you got like three different... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, don't say your name because I got somebody that, here that might want to retaliate, all right? So don't say your name, all right? You on a podcast. Hello? Okay. Yeah. What what clubs have, have have you promoted in Atlanta? I like all of them? Yeah. Run down your resume real quick. You got two OPM. two minutes. OPM. All right. OPM. Well, a lot of them close. Come on, man. Keep going. Keep going. Let's go. Damn. You, you just put me on the spot. OPM. Uh, Get to the point. Um, um, some of the all right, best some of the biggest clubs in Atlanta, right? Actually, yeah. favorite. Have you ever heard of a guy named Tafia being played in the club? Who? Have you ever heard a guy named Tafia being played in a club? Nah, is this like new? Somebody Ask me if you on paper route. Now you changing it up? Right, no, right. I'm the. He might okay. not know my name. Okay, okay. Have you ever heard of a song named Paper Route? I don't know, but you, you, you ask the wrong person when it comes to music. Nah, oh. don't do that. <laughs> yeah. You're a club promoter. No, 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 no. It's all good. But, but, but I've been on it. I've been on the spot for two years. Nah, I'm fucking with my homie. I'm fucking with my man. It's cool. I'm, we, just, we just kicking shit. It's, it's fine. Thank you, bro. All right. Okay. That goes into my question. It's cool. Nah. Paper Rock, Paper Rock gets played the most in Atlanta. Hey, I'm not tripping. I'm not here to... I don't want to promote that shit shit ain't being... Played in the no, no, I can show you. Listen, it's 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 it's, it's, it's I digital. I believe you. I don't want to be digital. the one that because I don't want to seem like I'm hating because I like your shit. So in I fact, don't want niggas to look I'm at gonna, this wrong. I'm, I'm pull it up. So All I'm see saying it. is, 
What are you, you gotta doing? be a little more confident when you're speaking. You said I gotta be confident. Yeah, you gotta be more confident. Nigga, I'm confident, nigga. I true. never heard you sit in the club. I'm confident. You don't go to the club. I used to go to the club. What? Paper route is old. Paper route came out 2022. That's two years ago. Almost still three years ago. In the club. No, I'm saying that I was in the clubs then. You was in the club 2019. How you know? Because that's. He, he, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> he, he said, I can tell. He absolutely right. <laughs> like, the nigga is spot on. Like, I definitely was in the club. Right. 2019. 2020. Yeah, Wi-Fi ain't on a service yet. Uh, fuck that. All, all I'm saying is, we, I believe you, bro. What are you doing differently for this tape, though? Uh, As far as what? Marketing? Marketing, nigga. Yeah, so everybody can. So when I go and I tell my mans, bro, you fucking with Tafia? He be like, oh, yeah, I know Tafia. Especially in Baltimore. They fought with me in Baltimore. You sleep. Hey, you know um Carter? Carter Vision? Yeah, I know Carter Vision. Call Carter, bro. No, Carter Vision is Meek Mill videographer slash photographer. Of course he's going to know you. No, ask him if I get played in Baltimore. <sighs> Just ask him that. He's not going to lie for that. Because oh, before he was Meek Mill photographer, he's only been there for two years. Of Be course he's going to vouch for you, though, because he's he's me. He's on Meek team. It's not about that. C C <sighs> Carter's not going to lie. If he don't like something, he don't like it. I don't think I got his number, but let me go on Instagram. Come on, not she. Nah, they ban you from what, Baltimore. What you, That's crazy. How they ban you from Baltimore? Nobody, bro? man. You crazy? That's I'm crazy. really, bro. You could call anybody from the city. I'm pretty sure if you call him, he'll tell you he know me. Well, you ain't got a number, boy. But I don't. I, I bet. Call him. Call him. I bet you he say yeah. I know who Jay Hill is. Okay. Play with me if you want. Yeah, and I, I, yeah. we could do that if you want. We could. We could go. Yeah. Person for person, club for club. Nigga about to tell me, boy, niggas try to stick you all type of shit. Shit. <laughs> I you ain't never got, I'm good. I'm good. That's the one thing we can call whoever you want. I really, you nervous? You I, no, I'm not. I beat niggas up. They'll oh, tell you Lord. that. No, no cap. Oh, I'm not even joking. <laughs> Yo. Hey, what's good? Hey, um, you, you know a J Hill? Radio? Radio guy? He, he know who I am? I don't got to say nigga, shit. I call a nigga, do you know who? Nigga say, nigga say he in the clubs heavy cracking bottles on niggas' heads, man. I used to be in the club hosting. I did. <laughs> Come on. Let him, he, he, he don't believe I'm getting played in Baltimore. Uh, I mean, in the club? Yeah. No, not really, no. So how do people know about me in Baltimore? I remember when you told me the Many Man Envy shit was getting played in Baltimore Heavy. That's people that really know music, though, Tyson. You talking about like a joint that people dancing to in the club? That ain't like a joint people dancing to. Nah, nah, I know that. I know that. Thank you, bro. That's all I'm saying. Don't have me on here looking like I'm hating because I'm telling the truth. That's it. I fuck with your music. Nah, I'm saying people in Baltimore. People in Baltimore. Listen, I fuck, with, I fuck with your music. I'm just saying, like, you talk about clubs. I'm hearing, I'm hearing from people from Baltimore. Ain't nobody playing that in a club. I ain't. What? Uh, now, I don't know about clubs in Baltimore. I'm talking about clubs in Atlanta. I've for never sure. heard it in a club in Atlanta. You don't be outside. Oh, my God. I ain't call somebody from Atlanta. If you want to call from no, Atlanta. No, 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 no. I believe. I believe. And now we just we just fucking around for content. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm just, I'm just right, playing around right. <laughs> for clips and shit now right. at this point. I'm just joking. Ah, uh, uh, bro. Come on, man. You could, you want to call somebody else from Baltimore? <laughs> what you talking about? This is, I ain't gonna lie, he don't really the only one I know from All right, then nigga want, that I know from Baltimore. You call really somebody know. from Philly? You wanna call somebody from DC? Well, from what? Did, from, uh, Cause you asked about me. I'm good where I'm from. I ain't asked about you. You told me I asked about you. <laughs> <laughs> now I was asking to see if my shit get played in Baltimore. What are you doing different to push this tape, bro? Uh, digital. I already started. What you start? The the one post on your Instagram? Are you taking everything down? No. You seen you seen uh, the shit I, I usually don't do. You see, I posted my mugshot. Yeah, with I the, posted with on my the, story. Yeah. If blogs why, already picked it up. Why you ain't posted on the page? Nah. How? Wait, wait, wait. Because this this a different this different type of clout. How you manage to go into jail, niggas see you with the Cuban and they ain't take it off. They was excited about walking that bitch. The officers. How was that? What happened? Explain it. I called a case twenty twenty one. What case was this? Um. Uh, it's a Walmart case. Walmart. It's still open. Okay. With okay. a gun charge. All right, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, so you, you, you get a, you get arrested? Yeah, I got arrested. I hit the news. What happened? Um, when they took me to the county jail, you know, I was the part where you, you know, check in, mm -hmm. empty your pockets out, you, you put your shit up. You go to the little room to take the picture? Take the picture. I ain't going to tell them to take my chain off. 
Shit, I kept it on. I ain't say nothing. How long? How long did you do you have it on before they they noticed? I don't even remember. I just I don't remember. Did you go? I to think the... it was right before I was about to like dress out. Like I had to take my clothes off. Wait, y'all do that the first day? Like the the first? Yeah, you got to get in county clothes. They don't let you. Hell no, I'm Balenciaga down. You think you gonna let me go in this fucking? Oh, Shit so like that. okay. If it's if it's a major crime, because I remember like when when I got arrested, you go to the holding cell before you go upstairs. Yeah, but you uh, hold the cell. Like yeah, so we so in yeah, Baltimore, yeah, you do go in the holding cell. You do, you do, you do, you do go in the holding cell. But you, you yeah, you, you take the picture take before the holding cell. Yeah, That's all. So I was about to ask you, did you had a did you have it on? Okay, so I know for us, they what they do is like you go straight, so you come in. Yeah, see, for me, they ain't, for me, they ain't drag it. Okay. They, um, I went, I, I walked in with the officer, mm -hmm. went to the little window shit. We mm -hmm. got my keys, my phone and shit. Then we went through the other room and they immediately I took a took picture. Took the picture. Yeah, that's yeah. how it is for us. And, and then, then you go to the whole and so. Did you have it on in the whole and so? No. Then they took me to change my clothes. And then I sat down. I didn't sit down in the whole and so. I sat down in the open area where they're like, you waiting to get your name called to go to your, go to the, okay. the cell. And it'd be like other people there type shit. Yeah, other people was there, yeah. But they ain't, you ain't had your chain on in there. What? You ain't had your chain on in, in the whole in, in that in that room. Yeah, no, no yeah, my clothes, yeah. Okay. But the, the room where they the, the same room where they took the picture at, same room where you, okay. you sit down with So them. when you say they was excited, like what you mean they was excited? Yeah, as soon as I walked in. What I feel? Like, <laughs> like, yeah. And then like, other people was like, Man, what the hell are you doing here? Damn. And then and then somebody walked by, but he was just on the news. Sheesh. So, so like, damn. You you still moving around in that Miami? What you mean? Like you still moving around? Like you still I'm trying not to ask you too much. Are you still moving around in Miami? What you mean moving around? Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a pedestrian. Yes. I'm walking. You still this... living there? Yeah. What's right. like, bro, you so successful? I feel like it's time for you to you know the conversation. Everybody's moving to Miami. Everyone, Trippy Red got that black house. But in you're Miami. not in your hood in Miami. You're not still in like. I've been in before I was signed. I wasn't in the hood. Okay, okay. Ben, come on, man. You don't be going to the. It sound like, bro. It sound no, like. No, you still go to niggas. You in Miami? You can't help but cut through the hood. The way Miami set up, you have to if you want. Niggas be South Beach in there all the time. I, we see people from Miami. We don't care about South Beach. Yeah, you say you gotta go through the hood. You don't really have to. No, where I live. It's 30 minutes away from South Beach. Okay. 30, 35 minutes. South Beach is south, heading towards South Miami, where it ain't lit no more. After South Beach, it ain't lit no more. Yo, what you think niggas go wrong with this, man? I feel like a lot of niggas that, that's from the hoods and shit and playing the music. South Beach right now low-key dead if it ain't like Playa. Playa or it ain't really. I never South really, Beach ain't South Beach no more. I never really uh got a chance to really experience Miami like that. Oh, yeah. See, Miami can low-key kind of like, it died down. I'm going to keep it 100. Too much people don't move. The pandemic shit really fucked it up. Right. It was lit, but it's like, it was more lit before pandemic. See, after pandemic, Atlanta got more lit. For us, it was the opposite. Yeah, I never experienced the Miami shit. Don't man. get me wrong, the strip clubs are still lit. Club Miami 24, is a, booby trap. It's a dangerous place, bro. Like, damn. Everywhere is dangerous. I don't no. know why people keep saying that. I'm talking about... See, bro. I what you mean by talk, dangerous? I'm talking about just the environment, like just the hoes, the bitches, the... Oh, uh, that's everywhere, though. Come on, you in Atlanta, bro. Nah, Miami It's worse here. No way. But it's worse here, bro. You think so? It's worse here. You think so? It's worse. Hell no. As far as mentality-wise? I said, well, Okay, what you mean exactly? I'm talking about just... Right. I'm talking about far as like just... You gonna have to spend a check at Miami, crazy. You gotta spend check here too. Yeah, yeah, it's worse here. It's worse here. Yeah, it's worse here. It's too many places to go here, like back to back. Like I'm about to say, maybe because I, I just heard the stories about and Miami. the parkings. Be, the parking prices be crazy. Niggas charge you hundred dollars to park at the gas station. Yeah, I heard stories about Miami. I was just like, yo, yeah, like I Miami is not really. You ain't got to spend no check for like that for real. Like if you know, you don't, bro. What's cool? Cause what you gonna spend a check on? The club. The check is gonna the, the check is gonna come from bottles and shit. If you just with you and your shorty, like, oh yeah, what, Yo, what, you know what I'm saying. You see, um, this big meat shit. Big meat's coming home. A lot of people talking about. Oh um, yeah, shout out big meat. A lot of people. Shout out my homeboy Throw Throw Beasy. Who that? Put me on. BMF. Oh shit. So niggas, niggas, a lot of niggas is talking about some. 
is it's over for niggas. Big Meech back home. Man, that nigga chilling, man. But he, <laughs> yeah, it's, he chilling. He ain't even finna trust me, bro. You gonna be at his birthday party when he when he, when he do it? They say you gonna have a welcome back home party. Yeah, All of, yeah uh, I might cut through for sure. That shit gonna be tarted. That's gonna be that crazy. Be I'm, I'm gonna cut through for sure. I ain't if my homeboy throw easy going, I'm going. Yeah, I ain't getting an invite to that shit. I ain't that lit. I'm be real. I'm realist. You call a nigga from Baltimore, they knew who I am, but I ain't gonna lie. Like, not no niggas in my head. You ain't been in the scene, on the scene since 2019, bro. Yeah, I've been on the scene for a little bit. You said what? Six years old? Hell bro, yeah. Oh, that nigga what? can't wait. Nigga, what is big what? Man, But really, he really like 46. You gotta take 10 years off. He been reserved all this time in jail. He been working out. No, I'm saying reserve as far. He got energy. Like, he ain't no old man. Hell no. Nah. He what? working out. He ain't no old man. You even ask, is he going to throw a that party? Nigga, he pumped. He got, <sighs> but he got a vein for this shit, bro. Nigga, what? He got a vein. The, the brother, the brother's the chill one. Yo, he got you said, a vein. No, I said you said after a dub, No, the brother, bro. yeah, the brother was, what you call it? It just, he was, the brother wasn't the party animal. Bro, after a dub, bro, your name, I feel like, his name is synonymous with like party bro, and getting had, money. That nigga had the biggest name in fucking the show. Sh- bro, what? Man, that nigga, well, hey, listen, you see his brother got out early, right? Why you think they, he tried to get out the same time? They said no. That's what I'm saying. They sc- they scared to let him out early. They know what's gonna happen. They nah. know what's gonna happen after 20 years. They know what's gonna happen. That's why they didn't wanna. They feel like he like a he gonna start a riot type shit like. But you can still party on some bits. Nigga, it's yeah, a lot of money in party. He, he was still making money in partying. Yeah, but I said, it's a lot of money in party. Man, the stories, cause Big Me, he was writing letters to my homeboy when we was locked up. Word? So be, nah, that's his, that's his right man. Like, he in, the, he in the videos and all that shit. Documentary, all that. But, bro, I'm reading the letters along with him. Like, he reading them shits. I'm with, bro, the names he was saying in them letters that to us as big people now was nobody's to them back then. Nah, for sure, yeah, yeah. Partying with them. The Nigga, Kim even, Kardashians and all that. There was nobody's to them. Even the Jeezy's, we knew that, like, it was like Jeezy was looking up to Big Meech at one point. And, like, yeah, but Jeezy he was part was, of their camp. I'm talking about people that's not part of their camp that just wanted to be around them. That's celebrities now. Now nah, they had a different type of money. You think You think he still got, like, all that money he's, put up? Nah, he's, he's up, bro. He's good. Yo, how does like when you get because you say y'all 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 didn't get caught right? So like I mean, it's, I know this ain't nothing compared to Big Meat's money, but yeah, it's nowhere near. y'all ain't get caught. Do they still do they like try to like get that money back by having you pay some shit? Like how does that? Yeah, always they always gonna try to either they is either if is either they gonna take from you or they gonna have you pay some money if they can't take it from you. But even if you pay some money, you probably still got way more than that than what they asking you to pay. They took a lot of shit from him, but he's still good though. They took shit from you when you got booked. They're they trying to recoup that for clean. Hey. Oh, the, the 2021? Yeah, yeah. They did, yeah. What did they, what, what they take? A lot of money. And they lied on the paper, said they only took a certain amount. Wait, they took cash? Or what you mean? What cash, you explain? Yeah, cash. Oh, so they ran up on you and took it? Yeah, when they when they locked me, they took my break. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like the court system. Like that's illegal then. I'm talking about the court system itself. Like if they didn't, if they didn't take the cash from you, right, on some illegal shit, you still could have had some money coming when you came back. When I bonded out, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Not my, not for my case when I was eighteen. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the twenty one. I'm, oh, I'm talking about when you were eighteen because you said nah, you got, the eighteen they ain't find shit. So you still could have like if you if you it put wasn't some, no, nothing crazy though. You said it was fifty. Yeah, it was fifty bad, but we had to split it up. Like you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was nothing crazy. Probably like twelve, thirteen type shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nothing crazy. Was, that's good, bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah good that's. Money. I, but I'm asking because like I think my man got booked for some uh some food stamp shit and he was like man. Basically, like, he got booked, but, you know, when he came back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm trying way. to figure out, like, yeah, so that's what I'm asking, like, it's crazy because niggas talk all this but shit. But he, you got to remember, he got that whole shit with 50 going on. We talking about uh, Big Meech. Meech. You got that shit, cause, so that's money. He's just on that alone. He's cool, bro. Yo, how much you, you think 50, how much you think 50 got to give him when he get home, like, when he touched down? Man, I'm no service here. How much, how, much, how much would you say 50 He should, probably already started paying him. How much would you, if you had to put a number on it, how much would you say he got he to gotta give him? That shit was impactful, so he made, some chick, he made some chicken. Give me a number. I don't know. I can't give a number. I have no clue. How much would you want? You know, I'm pretty sure 50 broke it down to him on how this shit go. 
like to make the money. No, I need extra though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. How do I share nah, this shit? Nah, nah, he ain't buying a lot. Not for me. You can't do that. Nah, you can't do that with him. Yeah, he can't. Cause that's his whole story. He could sue him. Wait, you said you think you think Fifty bought the life rights? Nah, he he he. He he got him right. He got him together. He got him together. I know it's more than M for sure. Cause even the son acting now. Oh boy, gotta eat. Yeah, Sheesh. legit. You look just like me. I'm gonna eat off you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody's going to eat you. Nah, facts. I think at least at least ten, at least ten million. That's on a that's on a bot, bro. That shit help your career like that shit. What? Mm. Nah, facts. Nah, this shit was Dang, good. You, you send the you turn that shit on right on time. This nigga just text me exactly as, as soon as you turn that shit on. Nah, 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 man. This shit was good, man. I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. What nah, did we touch facts. on that we uh? Um, um, what else you got? You be having, bro. You be in a in a mix, bro. What else you have? Give me some clickbait, man. What else you got going on, bro? You be going crazy in the uh, streets. Uh shit. <laughs> mm. You be going, nah, nah, nah. Don't hold back. As far as, as far as like what? Like what? Uh, you be talking about girls and shit like that. What you mean, girls? Like you, I'm, no, I'm saying you can talk about girls. You know, we ain't really talk about like no, girls. I'm talking about, wait, unless you fucking with some uh celebrities that won't know no know about. Nah. Mm, fuck, I wanna know about your hoes for nigga. No, no, not my hoes. I'm just saying, like talking about girls in general. Oh, like, the, oh, know. he wanna talk about that relationship shit. No, no, oh, no, he no, is, no uh, not relationship like. Atlanta hold Miami because you was starting to get there then you, you veered to something else. What about girls, bro? Because how you said like it's expensive Oh yeah, the lifestyle bitches, Miami. My bad. Them hoes expensive, yeah. What's the, what's the biggest check you spent on a girl? Well, check I spent she's like damn near my bitch. Like, you feel me? I spent I spent a little uh, eh. What's that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What the fuck, nigga? How you gonna say talk about girls and they don't want to talk? Like the nigga is, bro. What's up with this nigga, bro? What you call it? I mean, why? Well, okay, designer bag, Chanel bag, why up bag. I'm not talking about diamond chains. That. I don't care like, about that shit, bro. You, those like my girl though. Yeah, that's 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 expected, bro. Like that ain't nothing. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not blowing no bag on a random girl. Shit, dinner and shit like that ain't nothing. I don't. Been in a in a in a, in a Bar Harbor with a girl and then randomly bought some Louis shoes. Oh, you a trick? No, not even. Like I it, I ain't just meet her right then and there. Oh, so it wasn't random then. Yeah, I ain't never fuck her, but I ain't just meet her right then and there. Bro. Oh, you is a trick. No, you, that's what I know. End up fucking. Yeah. You said you ain't no. Nah, 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 don't try. To no, no, no. I ended up fucking, but I knew I was gonna fuck already. Like it was just cool. Pretty much. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. If the I money there, bro. And you and you fucking Haitian. Like you better be you getting money, nigga. Like why not? The fuck? Yeah, might as well. If I okay. had it, I'm tricking. I'm just a radio nigga. You heard what your man said? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, nah, but it, see, it's niggas that trick on a different level. Like it's some niggas like like literally walk up to a girl and just give her two grand. If I had it, I probably I ain't gonna be one. I'll be one of them niggas. Nah, I can't. If I had it, huh? I'm one of them niggas. Like walk up to a girl, give her two bands. Yeah, in the strip club, would you? Yeah, it, we done did that. Yeah. yeah. We in a strip club, though. We in a strip club. I know no, niggas oh, this literally nigga is no a strip freak. club. Walk up to a nigga. No, this nigga, type of, if you in a strip club, just walk up and just give her $2,000? Oh, fuck. No, you got to throw it. Oh. What? <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> yo, oh, hell, you's a freaky ass nigga. Yo, picture you just walking up to a girl just like, yo, just take $2,000. You seen it. Oh hell! Nah, I've seen it. it. Yeah, I've seen. It. I, I'm, no, I'm, throw it. No, he ain't not talking about throwing it. He's saying yeah. just walk, just give it to her. I just like, said that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And throw the rest. He probably give it to her. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I, even I, bro, this, probably, this situation is probably worse than that. That's a, that's a whole other bro, situation. he won't know. <laughs> bro, at one point in Miami is so crazy, bro. A nigga will just walk into the strip club. Exactly how I'm explaining to you. Walk into the strip club. Don't get no girl, no nothing. He just walked in there. Just me and you walked in there. And I just, I grabbed some ones, 5,000 and ones, and just threw it in the middle of the floor and walked out. Yeah, I mean, I still throwing it. I'm talking about No, like, on nobody, just on the floor, just to say you did it and walk out. Yeah, that's just stupid. That's what niggas, that's how much bread, like, Miami niggas was just, it was just so much. Nah, bro. That's Free bands. 
That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy, bro. My dog, man, I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. For real, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I love what you got going on, man. All jokes aside, uh, whatever I could do to help, you know what I'm saying? Push what you got going on. Nah, I appreciate it, man. Nah, for real, bro. I'm gonna, yeah. um, see, I sent you the song. You're the first one to have the songs. He ain't even hear him. No, nah, that shit was hard, though. But I feel like some of them wasn't finished, though. What you mean, like? Like, one of them, like, ended weird. Like, it wasn't finished. It sounded like it wasn't finished. Which one? All these are finished? Yeah. The, what, the, the girl one? Uh... I don't know exactly which one, but it went off kind of funny. I was like, it sounded like it wasn't finished. Probably hear you. Probably listening too fast. What? <laughs> Listen, I ain't tell one lie on this podcast, man. Tell them how to follow you and all that, man, before you get out of here, bro. Tell them what to follow you and shit, bro. Tafia underscore official. T-A-F-I-A underscore official on all platforms. My dog, man. I appreciate you, bro, for real, man. Tafia, Mr. J-Hill, J-Hill Podcast. You already know. We out, brother. <laughs>